I am honoured to be here uh, today in Rathfarnham Castle to uh, look at the um, history of the Office of Public Works over the last 185 years. And as I look around at the exhibition that's here, uh, the first thing that I, I think of is all of the people, uh, the staff who worked in the Office of Public Works since its inception. It's uh, particularly fitting that we should remember everybody who has contributed to the uh, great organisation which is the Office of Public Works and in turn have contributed to society in Ireland as a whole. Uh, the Office of Public Works in the modern world, um, one of its big issues is to uh, try and bring flood relief to many people around this country. I suppose it's fitting that the Office of Public Works would be the uh, lead organisation in trying to bring relief to many people around the country. I would also like to say that um, when we consider everything that has been achieved, we look at the legacy that has been left to this country. We are the guardians of this legacy in the OPW. Um, ministers would come and go, but the Office of Public Works will remain. I suppose lastly, I think um, from my own personal point of view, uh, my father Christy worked with the Office of Public Works. He was a district inspector uh, and he worked in Limerick, he worked in Galway and he uh, finished his term in uh, Casabar in Mayo. Uh, we have fond memories of visiting sites with him when he was the inspector and also I think that if he was alive today he would be very proud of the fact that one of his sons has uh, achieved the great honour of being the Minister for the Office of Public Works. Rathfarnham Castle is a national monument which is managed by the Historic Properties Division of the Office of Public Works. The castle is a 16th century castle but it has very very fine 18th century interiors and we also have a very fine collection of period furniture and portraits. Delighted to be here at the OPW 185 exhibition in Rathfarnham Castle. Uh, this exhibition is a really wonderful rendition of the long history of the OPW stretching back 185 years and how fantastic for me in my first year as chairman here in 2017 to um, have this exhibition to really show me the, the history and the heritage and what I take over from my many predecessors as chairman. A very humbling experience indeed. The OPW has been involved in so many things as one sees from the, the different plaques representing every decade of its history. Roads, harbours, bridges, asylums, prisons, accommodation, guard the stations, uh, modern buildings, schools. Uh, anything you can think of. Behind me is some lovely artwork, uh, paintings. The OPW looks after the, the, the state's artwork collection. Uh, and as I look here in front of me, at this point in the exhibition, I see mementos from the very recent visit of Queen Elizabeth of the UK. I see inauguration of the President in 1952. Mementos from the JFK visit in 1963, which was re-celebrated 50 years later in 2013. And lots of little items that really do awaken memories from our childhood and memories of uh, things we've learned in our history that we haven't had the pleasure of personally experiencing. And how magnificent that the exhibition should be here in Rathfarnham Castle, which is a wonderful uh, old building restored recently by the OPW, step by step as funds are available. I see magnificent artwork here on the ceiling, lovely plaster work, and each of the rooms of this castle has its own unique history as the, the, the castle itself was, was built and rebuilt and different phases as it passed through different ownership. So the, the, the connection is very, very good, very enchanting, worth a visit and it really does reflect well on the OPW and for me as chairman of the OPW starting now in 2017, it really is wonderful to see the history displayed like this. My name is Angela Rolf. I'm an architect in the Office of Public Works. I coordinated the OPW 185 exhibition that is here on exhibit in Rathwarnham Castle. It opened on the 15th of October last year. Um, it was to have finished today on the 28th of February. It's continuing to 2nd of April. The exhibition comprises um, objects, artefacts that were submitted by OPW staff. There are people stories. We ask people to submit stories about their father's, grandfather's relations who had previously been in OPW. There's quite a tradition in OPW of um, sons and, and following fathers and all that sort of thing. 
Um, and then we have the timeline which is behind me now, which is very um, illuminating in terms of the length and breadth of OPW's work. Um, starting from 1831 when we built mostly roads, it um, describes the change in 1922 um, and the reconstruction and the enormous volume of schools and garda stations that were built in the 20s and 30s. Um, when I joined the EEC, we got funding from Europe for heritage and cultural institutions. So the ebb and flow of OPW's work over the 185 years is quite extraordinary. I feel this exhibition gives a glimpse of the history of OPW, the continuity, an organisation that until re very recently was longer in existence um, prior to 22 than post-22. Um, and of course it was all Ireland, there are buildings and structures, infrastructure in Northern Ireland which were built by the Office of Public Works. The castle is open all year round and you can take a guided tour or self-guide or you could also attend one of our many cultural events. We run concerts, we have theatre, we have readings, lectures and events for children. The castle is also available for book launches, small receptions and other events of that nature.